tumekuwa na wiki kama nne hivi sija kuepo mahali hapa I for weeks since I was absent here lakini kwa sababu ya agizo but it is because of the ordination basi asubuhi ya leo nina ujumbe huu therefore this morning of this message to you huu ujumbe nilihubiri kwenye wanawake kule lakini Mungu akawa amesema sio kwa ajili yao I preached was there at the women conference but God said to me that is not special for them. Huu ujumbe ni wa kanisa kwa kipindi cha sasa. But this message is for the church. Utakapokuwa na ubiri lazima useme hii jambo. When you are preaching you should speak this thing. Roho mtakatifu na maombi. That the Holy Spirit and the prayers. Roho mtakatifu na maombi. Holy Spirit and the prayers. Asante hapo natosha. Thank you Snuff. Hebu weka mkono wako kifuani. Put your hand on your chest. Speak these words. Holy Spirit. Speak with me this morning. Through this lesson. I'm asking you to speak to me very specially. I give you a blessings. I praise God so that I can see. So that I can hear. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 When we speak of the Holy Spirit and the prayers, what do we mean? We have got so many definitions, but for me, this is my definition. That once a person gives life to Jesus, he has to be the Spirit of God. All satanic spirits are cast out. Therefore, the Spirit of God comes down unto you. And when we speak the Spirit of God, it is God who comes into you. Kwa hiyo Mungu akihamia ndani yako. Therefore once God comes in you, unatembea na Mungu. Therefore you are walking with God. Anakuongoza yeye. He leads you. Anakuongoza kila kitu. He leads you in everything. Haijalishi umekaa si muda gani kwenye wokovu. No matter for how long have you been in salvation. Lakini mara moja tu ukikata shauri. But once you surrender to Jesus. Mungu anaingia. That God enters in. Kwa hiyo anakuongoza. Therefore he leads even your speech, even the way you walk, even the way you dress, it changes. I once spoke to you some times ago. I was putting here my trouser. It was this way. You know that he was the musician. Therefore, he was imitating those musicians from Congo. Those musicians do understand it. They put here their trousers, and that trousers they enlarge and thicken. Therefore, it ties their hair, and the beach shapes. Even the shading styles. The way he walked, therefore he was looking like this. That you will be transformed. You are walking as if you are coming from the United States. That's just some matters there. But once I surrendered to Jesus, I was filled with the Spirit. The Holy Spirit taught me how to dress. He told me not to put you there. You have to put it the right there. Your trousers, your shirts, you have to put your it. Not only that, you have to find a necktie. You put your it. I didn't use to put your necktie. Not only that, he told me to find a coat. You have to put it on. You know that the way Holy Spirit is. He teaches us civilization. Do you understand it? But this spirit of today, I'm so mad. He doesn't teach people. Even his speech, he will speak in civilization. He just can't utter in vigorously. You are not taught at school. You are taught from above. 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 Even before you have spoken, it's the Holy Spirit who has to speak or not to speak. You 
ukazungumza utumbo they are you can't speak anything wrong you can't speak something that hurts people the things that hurts people their hearts because these people are of God they are even your speech you are speak the way of wise words the way comforting words the way that encourage that is the kind of a person who is filled with power if we are the way that maybe people to lose hope He puts the comforting and the encouraging words. That is the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit does not lose hope people. He doesn't make people to lose hope. He doesn't hurt people. Even if it is the warning word, it will come to a person and that person will be transformed by that word. Not only that. The first thing when this people is filled with the Holy Spirit, he is bringing him to the school of prayers. This is why today I want to speak about the Holy Spirit and the prayers. If you see that you are, you are not properly in prayers, you have to know that you haven't yet invited the Holy Spirit Therefore, the best example is that we have to follow our main leader who is Jesus in Christ when he was filled with the Holy Spirit the first thing the very first thing before all things he told him Jesus I want you to have fasting for 40 days and then you have to go up the mountain you will be there I will be speaking with you remember that Jesus was on this way he was on flesh and this is why he did nothing because he knew without the Holy Spirit he could do nothing he could do nothing therefore he had to wait so that to be baptized in the deep immersion in water and after that the Holy Spirit came down here once he descended into him the very primary thing is to lead him in prayers that is the, the work of the Holy Spirit and this is what I want to talk to you this morning that once the Holy Spirit comes in a people a work to do. And I'm per- what? He gives him a responsibility to do. To Solomon, Nico, look at the Surah, Nim Sarawanda, and our people. Let's read the scripture from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. Bibiria, the same man. The Bible says, Look at the Surah, Nim Sarawanda, and our people. Luke, chapter 1, verse, chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. And the same man, Na Yesu Hari, and the Jarom, Takatifa, and the Rudy, who took a year, and the Congo, and the Rome. Mood na roho muda wa siku ambayo ni kani akijaribiwa na ibilisi na siku hizo alikuwa hali kitu hata zilipotimia aliona njaa and Jesus full of the holy spirit returned from Jordan and was led by the spirit for four days in the wilderness tempted by the devil and ate nothing in those days and when they were ended he was hungry you can see that the first thing when he came from Jordan the Holy Spirit brought him to the school of prayers I was maintaining these scriptures why the Holy Spirit did tell Jesus that your first is to pray I mean to, to break the, the evil spirit or to pray for the sick I go to the school of prayers and this is why today you have no prayer warriors no prayer warriors if there are very few of them we are doing very many things we are doing very many things but they have got no good impact because we have left this peaceful 
of Jesus. Kwa sababu lazima tumfuate Yesu aliyofanya. Because we have to follow the way Jesus did. Tuna maneno mengi. We have got so many words. Tuna mipango mingi. We have got so many plans. Tuna vitu vingi. We have got so many things. Lakini tumeacha kanuni ya maomba. We have left the peace of prayers. Hili ni tatizo. This is the problem. Na ndio maana kanisa linakuwa dhaifu. And this is why the church is still weakening. Tunaposema kanisa, when you say the church, wa Kristo anakuwa ni dhaifu. We mean the Christians become so weak. Watu waliochoka. The, the ones that have gone weary. Ni watu ambao imani imeondoka. The ones that have lost faith. Ni watu ambao wamekosa matumaini. The ones that have lost hope. Kwa sababu this is because. Pamoja na kujazwa roho. Despite being filled with the spirit, omba, without your prayers, utakata tamaa. You will lose hope. Utachoka. You will be weary. Utakosa matumaini. You will lose your faith. Lakini ukiingia kwenye maombi, but if you enter in prayers, Mungu anasema na wewe. God will speak with you. Juu ya yoko mbele. About what is coming ahead of you. Kwa maana atakaposema hapa. This is what I was speaking. Wakati nimesimama hapo when I stood here naonyesha watu wanalia wamechoka wamekata I was shown that people are weeping they are going weary they have lost hope hawana matumaini they have no hope wanaona kama sasa uokovu kama ni mgumu vile and if that the salvation is a great burden to them kwa sababu watu wana matatizo because people are full of problems watu wana matatizo ya maisha people are problems of life pesa hakuna finance problem pesa hakuna money there is no money You just think of the day that you get money. Kicheko mpaka huko. The way you get out. Lakini pesa imebanwa. But now money is not there. Sasa utaipataje? Yeah, for how are you going to get it? Bila maombi. Without the prayers. Utaiona tu hivi. You just see it. Utaipata. But you can't receive. Lakini maombi. But the prayers yanaleta fedha. Please or collect money to come and you. Sikiliza. Listen. Naposema inaleta pesa. When you say the money comes to you. It doesn't money just it comes down in the It gives you the plans to do. Unapoingia kwenye maombi, when you enter in prayers, you get the vision. The things to do. Anakuambia hivi, it God tells you you have to do this and that. This work is not enough for you. Itafika mwisho itakoa. It will come the end that you no longer prosper. Sasa kwa sababu wewe umeingia kwenye maombi, therefore because you have entered in prayers, anakuambia fanye hiki, fanye hiki, fanye hiki. God gives you other ways to do. Anakuambia fanye hiki. You have to do this. Nataka ufanye mradi huu. I want to do this business. Unaamua kuchukua hatua. Yeah, so you start to take a step. Unaingia kwenye ule mradi. You end to do or you perform on that business. Na unapata pesa. And you receive money. Unafanya vitu vyako. You do your own things. Kwa hiyo hutatazama kazi. Therefore you not look just at your work. Hutangojea kazi. You not wait for the work. Lakini chanzo kikubwa. But the main source uliingia kwenye maombi is because you entered in prayer. Mungu akakupa njia. And the God gave you the way. Kwa hiyo watu wamechoka. Therefore people have gone I can't be tired. No wala siwezi kukata tamaa. And I can't lose hope. Ninamjua Mungu wangu because I know my God. Nataka nikupe huyu mchana wa leo. I want to tell you this year for you. Mungu wetu ni mkuu. That our God is very mighty. Na anaweza kufanya mambo makubwa. And he is omnipotent. Can he do the great things? Listen. Hakuna haja kuchoka wala kukata tamaa. There's no need of getting tired or losing hope. Wewe uingie kwenye maombi. You just get in prayers. Kwanza leo weka mkakato wa maombi. Starting today you start to set this Jesus for the prayers. Nilikuwa naangalia Paulo. I was looking at the Paul's life. Alipotokea na Yesu. When Jesus came to him. Kitu alipojia swa Roma mtakatifu. When he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Aliingizwa kwenye shule ya maombi. He was brought to the school of prayers. Matendo ile 9 hadi 9 hadi watisa utasoma kwa wakati wako. The Acts chapter 9 verse 4 to 9. Nisome mstari miwili tu. Let me read two verses. Ah, Roma mtakatifu yupo hapa. The Holy Spirit Yeah 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 yuko jamani His presence is mighty Kuna kitu kinaenda kufanyika There is a great thing today yeah, going to kufanyika kitu The very great thing Nisome mstari wa 8 tu Let me read all verse 8 Matendo nitume sura ile ya 9 mstari wa 8 na wa 9 lakini wewe unaandika kuanzia mstari wa 4 It just right from verse 4 to 9 but I read verse 8 Anasema hivi Sauli akainuka katika nchi na macho yake yakafumbuka hakuona kitu wakamshika mkono wakamleta mpaka Damaski akawa akawa siku tatu haoni hali wala kunywa mstari wa 8 na wa 9 the acts chapter 9 okay acts chapter 9 verse 8 to 9 the word of the lord says Saul arose from the ground and when his eyes were opened he could see nothing so they led him by the hand we know that history 
Lakini hiyo mistari miwili. But those three verses. Alipoanguka chini. When he fell down, kwa sababu alikuwa ni mbishi. Because he was against Jesus. Kwa hiyo kilicho tokea. What happened? Mungu akampiga pof that God blinded him. Lakini kwa anaangalia maneno haya. But I was looking through this scripture. Anasema akawa siku tatu haoni. There for three days he was not I mean he had no vision. Hali wala kunywa. He had no sight, he was not eating nor drinking. Kwa nini? Why? Alikuwa anaingizwa shule. Because he was brought to the school of prayers. Alikuwa anaingizwa shule. He was brought to the prayers. Mungu alikuwa anasema na. It is God who spoke to him. Mungu alikuwa anampa mwelekeo. It is God who gave him the idea. Soma hiyo sura ya kuendelea mpaka tii 10. And if you go on with that is Siku ya chapter of chapter 10. Amekula, amekunywa. On the third day he ate and drank. Akatoka akaanza kuhubiri kwa nguvu sana. From there he rose and started to preach in mighty na hata mpaka kawafadhaisha wayahudi and since there even those Jews were so marveled by the power he had kwa hiyo therefore mfungo huu therefore this fasting ulilazimishwa na Mungu it was just forced by God himself unajua sipo nataka kufunga you know if you don't want to fast you allow it is easy to you so that you can't eat for three or seven days si utaki kufunga This is because you hate to fast. Go malaria takbana. They are for malaria is going to attack you. Ukiletewa chakula. And once the food is brought to you you will be vomiting out. Utafunga kwa lazima. You will be fasting by force. Sasa usifungishe kwa lazima. Therefore it's not good to be fasting by God by force. Labda nieleze kidogo ushuhuda ni mawe kurudia tena kwa faida ya wengine. Let me give to you this testimony of God I was spoke to you. Sikutegemea kuwa mhubiri au mwinjilisi. I never expect to be the preacher or evangelist all day. Nili nili nipo okoka. When I was born again, I was judged by the Holy Spirit. And once I was filled by the Spirit, I was spoken to by the Spirit. But I was not eating food. 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 I said, maybe I had a problem. Kila ni kila na tapika. Once I was taking any food, but I was vomiting. Ni kaino hospital. I went to the hospital. Give me the the tablets for vitamin B complex. Ni kaino kumeza kuleta hamu ya chakula. I take in. Okay, kusaidia. But it helped me nothing. Kilicho tokea. But what happened? Ni kila kinatoka. But when I was taking in food, it was getting out. I was born. Lakini kitu nilichokuwa napenda. But the thing that I like him much, Tori. Is Tori. Ndizi zilizoshagwa uji ule uji wa ndizi is the origin of the banana spoda. Huyo ndio nikinywa. Therefore when I drank it, ndio nasikia vizuri. I felt very good. Kwa hiyo nikasema sasa, therefore I say from now, nitatumia huu. I'm using this week ya kwanza for the first week. Week ya pili for the second week. Week ya tatu the third week. Lakini na nguvu, but I was strong enough. Alafu kilichotokea, and what happened? Nilipofika week ya pili, when it came to the second week, na muona mtu mpaka kwenye utumbo. I saw a, a, a person even to the intestine. Yaani naambiwa kila kitu. I was told everything about that people. Hapo sio mwinjilisi wala sio mchungaji. By then I was not an evangelist to know a Yaani nikikutana na mtu once I met with a person. Na mueleza habari zake zote. I was telling him everything about him. Mpaka watu wananikimbia. Some people were fled, were running away from me. Maana nilikuwa natoa siri za watu because I was giving some people secrets. Unajua nataka niwaambie. You know what to do? Kufunga kunafungua macho ya kiroho. You know fasting opens the spiritual eyes. Sikilizeni. Listen. Kunafungua kila kitu to open everything. Na ndio watu waliojizoesha kufunga and those who are used to fast wanaona kila kitu. They see everything. Wanasikia kila kitu. They listen everything. Na ndio maana shetani anapiga vita sana maombi. And this is why Satan hates very much prayers. Kwa sababu anajua utaona kila kitu because he knows that you are going to see everything. Sasa wakati huu nilikuwa nawashika watu kabisa. Yeah, for my when I was catching people. Hata kanisa nilikuwa nawashika watu. Even there at the church. Nikimwona mchao. When I saw a soft man. Shika I just caught him. Baadaye watu wale nabia tu. But when the Lord the pastor told me this is the Lord not the way of to do. Wakati huu kabla sijatoka kanisa la Anglican nikiwa kule ndo manga because I was there the Anglican church member. Kanisho pale rufiki kwenda kuhubiri. I was invited there at rufiki to preach. Sasa nilipofika mimi waliniweka kama mwinjilisti. When I went there they sent me as an evangelist. Wameendesha ibada zao zote kama kawaida. They started there no prayers no service. Mimi waliniweka pembeni bwana. They just put me aside there. Lakini waliniambia bwana uweze kuhubiri ama mpaka uvae kanzu. But they told me you have to preach unless otherwise you have to put on ufunge mshipi ule. You have to put on the mpaka ufunge ile kama yao wenyewe. The gown basi nilipovaa ile 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 kanzu ile therefore once i put it on 
Kaongozana we lived together we are together tumetoka kwenye chumba tumevaa we were from the room already dressed tumevaa tulipofika pale lazima uinamie mzee when you came there you have to bow before the cross mimi nikasimama hivi i just stood still maana nisikia sauti na naambia usinamie because i heard the voice that you have not to bow before it usinamie you have not to bow before that cross kapita therefore we pass the word this person you have to know that is just for four weeks in salvation and what happened when I sat there on the church I was shown in the whole church the way it is I was seeing everything I was seeing everything some of them were having Charles, on their pockets. I was seeing everything. Therefore, the end of God was unfinished. I guess if I them, they made me to date them. So they had to be passing them. You know that Holy Spirit is very good. And once you enter the prayers, you can see that your fellow is a, is a normal person, but he is no usitishwe na kuhubiri bwana si mnaelewa you understand it usitishwe na kuwa asikofa au mchungaji bwana not just take a person because he is a bishop or a pastor haijalishi no matter unamuona mpaka tumboni ali you see him even to the taste to the stomach wengine ni maagent wa shetani others they are just the agents of the devil how are you they go to go to the heaven. They will just sign the contract. They just want money. They want to get in food. The riches. But they have no plan to go heaven. And what happened there? Even that leader. I was shown that in his pocket there was a child. I said, Jesus, what is this? He told me, this is why we brought you here. But he told me, just calm down. You will be given an altar. And what happened then? It came a point. He said, they said that we have a boy here, a man here, our evangelist. evangelist he is coming from there. He has visited us. We have heard about him there from there that he heals people and pray for the sick. Therefore, we are with him today. You know, once I took that microphone. I told them, brothers, what I come here to preach is about salvation. Without salvation, you can't see God. In here, there are the sorcerers. If you have got charms or any witchcraft stuffs, bring here. They were looking at one another. I, I saw one of them is getting out. I told them he just closed the doors. The deacons closed the doors. No one has to get out of here. I want to pray. I just preached for 10 minutes. That's how I said now we are going to pray. You know, once we started the prayers, the demons were manifesting there. And the church elders were falling down. The demons came out. It was just manifestation of the evil spirit. You know that church is there, the Kibit town. It never happened before. Therefore, people around that church had to come there to see what was happening. Some people were opening the, the, the doors and they were crawling out there. Listen. And what happened there is I've just seen a picture. That is the leader of that church. That pastor. He told me already that he told me to go on prayers. Stop the prayers. I just gave him the microphone. And what happened? He said, this is the work that you are going to do. The people that have to be released. But 
Unafikiri amefanyika hivi mijoni? Do you know that this is just hadari vei vei? Yale kunywa ulikokula mtori mwezi mzima. It's because of that porridge that you were drinking for a month. This is what is happening now. Ukitaka nijidhihirishe. If you want me to manifest it to them. Lazima wache kula. You have to stop eating. Na utanisikiliza mimi. And you listen from me. Kula utanisikiliza mimi. What you are going to eat you have to be instructed by me. Kula usile. Whether you have to eat today or not. Nipo mke wangu. And when I get married to my wife mama alikuwa anakaangiza kweli so he was frightened having a very good meal sasa anashangaa na andaji nono pale he, he had there a very good meal prayer i mean prepared for me akawa anashangaa siri and he was so amazed that i was not eating unajua fraya mwanamke kuona mumeo anakula vizuri sana you know that the joy of the woman is to see his husband is eating well hakuna sipenda mwanamke mumeo wake amlishe vizuri none of the women that dislikes his husband to eat well kilicho tokea ni kwa anakula therefore i was eating there just a little nakuta kama nakabwa but as if i was tired there ambio ache throat nikasema ni kitu gani au mapepo i said what is this is this demons au mapepo ni are these demons i was there cooking but jesus said it is me it is me don't go on it is enough therefore that my wife was feeling bad baadaye nikamweleweesha nikamwambia mke wangu later on i had to tell her the truth that like my wife kazi niliyopewa this work that has god has given me nimepewa hivi it is the way that god has instructed me it doesn't mean that i hate food ila kwa sababu ya kazi it is because of the work kwa hiyo akanielewa therefore she and now mpaka leo ananielewa even today she understands basi nikamwambia mungu nisikonde basi therefore i told you god please i want to get better thing let me have a good healthy although that's bad taking in me but surely I have a good healthy you see the way I am now can you believe now I'm 50 or 60 years you can think as if I'm 40 listen but what do I want to do maombi anakufanya kurejesha ujana wako hata mwili wako magonjwa magonjwa yanatoka the prayer restores your youth even the diseases are taken away kufunga pia kunaondoa magonjwa bana sababishwa na vyakula tunavyokula fasting takes away all the diseases caused by the food we are taking in ukizoea kupatia tu kupatia tu kupatia if you just use of just eating eating and eating ndio matokeo yake ma pressure as a result you suffer from hypertension or hypertension matokeo yake kisukari and then diabetes matokeo yake sijui magonjwa tumwa na vitu vingine vi and the other diseases caused by that food you are taking in kwenye kitabu changu cha upojaji wa kimungu utayapata in that book of mine about the divine healing you are going to see it leo tutamaliza mapema sana I will finish yani it very early. By a contact to the Lord. What I want to do. Mseleze Mungu. You have to listen from God. Watu wataka kumsikiliza Mungu. People hate to listen from God. Wengine wanaambiwa nataka siku 40. Some are told by God that you have to fast for 40 days. Wengine wanaambiwa siku 30. Some are told to fast for 30 days. Usingojie maombi ya kanisa. You need to wait for the church prayer. I mean start fasting. Huyo Roho Mtakatifu that the holy spirit was instructed me he knows everything hebu tuangalie nini leo nini leo kwa nini tuangalie kwa nini leo watu hawa hawana hatuna watu wa maombi amwekea mikono akasema ndugu Sauli bwana amenituma Yesu yeye aliyekutokea katika njia uliyoijia upate kuona tena ukajaza na roho mtakatifu mara likaanguka machoni pake kama magamba akapata kuona akasimama akabatizwa akala chakula na kupata nguvu amen from chapter 9 the book of acts verse 17 so ananias departed and entered the house and laying his hands on him he said brother saul the lord jesus who appeared to you on the road by which you came he sent me that you may regain your sight and be filled with the holy spirit and immediately some things like scales fell from his eyes and he regained his sight then he rose and was baptized 
and took food and was strengthened. You can see there after he was laid the hands. After he was laid the hands by Ananias. The Holy Spirit came down. Some things like scales were taken away from his eyes. You know, some people today do not see. Kama uoni, if you don't see, macho ya rohoni, the spirituals, nimbaya sana, is very good, nimbaya sana, is very well, sana, well, ni muhimu tuone, is very important that we should Musi see, musimu amini mtuwebe kama nasema buwana asifiwe, do not believe to a person even if you say the praise be to the Lord, simu na nyele ope, do you understand your brother, musimu amini, do not be threatened or be scared by praise be to the Lord. Do not be bothered by the signs and wonders. You should have the spiritual connection with that servant of God or that pastor. You have to ask God, is this your servant or not? Not everywhere you go, you just receive and receive. Others are the satanic agents. Listen, I'm speaking it by experience. That in this last year, if people don't have the spiritual, they will be taken away from the true faith. And as a result, they are going to be put to the hell. They are connected to the hardest. And as a result, it's the persecution. As if they think it is God. Therefore, you should have spiritual therefore there are some impacts or the effects of not being filled by the spirit the first loss one of the impacts if someone is not filled by the power of the Holy Spirit the sins, transgressions and temptations will be around you Luke chapter 4 Four verse one to fifteen. The impacts of not being filled by the power of the Holy Spirit. Transgressions. That the sin does not afraid of the bishop. Nor does it afraid of the pastor. Nor does it fear of the evangelist. by the power of the Holy Spirit. And the temptation scares or fears of anybody. And nowadays temptation is money. Money. I'm speaking of money. That money is taken away. They have taken away from the true line of God. Therefore in order to overcome temptations you should be the spirit having money is not seen but if you like more money that means you are ready to go astray because of money to seek or looking for money in any other alternative even by illegal ways or speaking lying you have to know that there is no spirit there. There is no Holy Spirit. There is no Holy Spirit. If you read the Gospel of Luke from chapter 4, verse 1 to 15, Jesus was filled with the Spirit. It is that what helped him. He was the Word, but he was on the flesh. He was on the flesh. That the divine the divinity he well, left it there. Therefore, he needed the Holy Spirit. And this is why when the devil came with him, he showed you all the wealth of the world. If you read from verse 5 to 7, he showed you all the wealth of this world. He told to Jesus, you see all these who buy the houses, the vehicles, and the money. If you bought before me, all are going to be to you. 
anasema akamkumbusha it is the holy spirit that reminded jesus kwamba imeandikwa msujudie bwana mungu wako peke yake that it has been written you have only to fear or worship the lord your god only vitu viwili vya muhimu sana the very important two things ya neno la mungu be filled with the word of god ya neno la mungu be filled with the word of god you have to know the way sahabu neno la mungu you have to understand the word ya roho mtakatifu be filled with the holy spirit sasa hivi vitu vinategemea therefore these two things depend on one another moja kikifungua it one is lack of tatizo it is a problem watu kama hao wataweza jambo lingine watu kama hao wataweza kuomba hivyo this kind athari nyingi and not pray or fast warumi nami msara 26 27 kwa wakati wako utasoma Romans chapter 8 verse 26 to 27. Yaani shida ya leo tunalazimishana maombi that the problem existing today is we are forcing people to pray. Hata tukiwaambia watu jamani njoni tufunge tuombe kwa ajili ya nchi. Even if you tell people that to come here to the church to pray and fast for the nation. Nimegundua shida roho hayupo. I have already realized that the problem is they have no holy spirit. Roho hayupo. No holy spirit in them. Kwa maana watu hawana This is why people see as if it is a mountain to pray. Na hili ni janga la ulimwengu. And this is the world disaster. Na sisi tumesema kwa shangazi. And we have said here at church. Tafadhali tuaishe mambo mengi. The better to know all other things. Afadhali tuwe na muda mwingi wa maombi. Therefore you should have a big time to for prayers. Maombi ndio kila kitu. Prayers is everything. Maombi atakupa hamu ya kusoma neno la Mungu. It is the prayer that will give you a time for reading the word of God. Maombi atakuepusha na majaribu. It will take you away from temptation. Kwa hiyo unashindwa kuomba kwa sababu roho hayupo. Therefore you fail to pray because the Holy Spirit is not using you. Jamani maombi ndio kila kitu. Brothers, I tell you that prayer is everything. Huwa nachuliaga mara nyingi. I often testify to you. Mambo mengine ya kwangu mimi siyawezi kwa maombi. All other things of mine I can't do it by my own effort unless I order my prayers. Mipango yangu ikabidi kila maombi. My plans can't be fulfilled without prayers. Safari zangu zikamiliki bila maombi. All my journey trips can't be fulfilled unless I have my prayers. Wakati wa ujinsi sina shughulika lakini naibeba sana kuiombea ili ifanikiwe kunipa pesa kwa jambo la kuombea. I have the evangelism committee but I take it in a prayer so that they give me money for evangelism. Kwa hiyo hata mipango ya kanisa bila maombi ni bure. Therefore even this church plans without the prayers they are just in vain. Kwa hiyo hebu tuwekeze kwenye maombi. Therefore you have to invest much in prayers. Jambo lingine Another thing. Athari ya watu hao sipoja zoro. The impact of not being filled by the spirit. Watakuwa na tabia ya mwilini. They will be the men of the flesh. Wa Korinto wa kwanza sura ya 3 mstari wa 1 hadi wa 7. The first Corinthians chapter 3 verse 1 to 7. Tunapo sema tabia za mwilini. When you say to be the men of the flesh, ukabila that means tribalism. Matabaka. Yaani classes Unaweka matabaka. You put some classes. Unataka kukutana kanisani sisi kabila fulani ndio maana. You can see here even at the church that there are that this is we are very important tribe. You know what wana mbeo matabaka unjue shida roho hamna. If you see people of that class you have to know that they have no spirit in him. Na tabia hizi ni kwa kule Korinto. And this behavior was there at the Corinthian. Wivu, fitina, usengeni, gossips, killers. Na vitu vingine and behavior of that kind na mambo mengine mengi tu and the many other things of that kind siwezi kuyasema i can't mention na sehemu nyingine hata mchungaji wanamuinukia wanamsema and in the other places even some church members are against and speaking evil ways about their pastor msunguka they are just but biting him na watu wana mambo ya ajabu there are some people who have very bad behavior usiona watu wanacheka hivi lakini wana meno ya sumu Don't get to see people are getting loud but they have got some venomous teeth. Mimi huwa nawaambia ngo watu wako kote na kwenda sana kufundishaga. I know my to tell people that wherever I go because I teach this. Usisie ukafanya chochote kwa habari ya mchungaji hata kama unajua kuna weakness fulani. Don't do anything. Don't arise against your pastor although you see there are some weaknesses in him. Unajua kwa nini nasema hivi? Do you know why I'm speaking this? Huwa nafundisha kwa kwenye makongamani kwani kwa sumbanga nafundisha makanisa ya Pentecoste kule mengi sana siku ile ilikuwa kama mangapi? Kama 40 kwa kusalika viongozi. I know my teach in the conference is there like what I did at Sumbawanga for four churches were there gathered together. Nikawa nimepewa somo la mchungaji ni nani? I was given a lesson who is a pastor. 
kwa sababu nimeona hii shida iko makanisani because i have seen this problem is in churches na ndio maana unakuta washirika hawabariki kwa sababu wanakaa na msaidia yeye mtume tangu asubuhi mpaka jioni and this is why you find the church members are not blessed because they are ghosting against their pastor six morning to afternoon unajua si tunatafuma tu unatafuma we you know we are very much digested tunaelewa alafu mimi naona alafu mimi huwa naona live i know when see it in vision very lively Nisingefikisha ningekuwa ninagoshika mkono. Hajai not be told this I will have to get your hand. Kwa sababu huwa naona because they normally see. Huwa naonyesha kabisa. I just I just see. Mungu amenipa ile karama neno la maarifa. Ndio ninachoshukuru. God is moving me that gives of the way of wisdom. Kwa hiyo nikawa nafundisha ile somo nikamwambia ukiinuka je mchungaji kumzunguka huko salama. Therefore I was teaching them this lesson if you are rising against your pastor don't know that you are not in safe position. Kwa ukiwa mzee wa kanisa ukiwa kiongozi usimuinukie mchungaji. Wherever you be if you are going to be the church elders or any leader you have not to be against your pastor. Sasa watu waliinuka mara nyingi ni tabia za mwili. Those people who are of this character they are the male of the flesh. Nimewahi kusema vitu vingi sana. I just spoke to you many things. Kwa mfano mimi nilipojaza zoro taribu nimewahi kukwambia hapa nimewahi kutoa vitu kwa mchungaji sijapata hasara mpaka leo. For instance I have testified to you when I was told by the spirit I was giving some things to the pastors and I got the Lord. Mema mchungaji wako wish the best to your pastor. Popo tutaka kupenda kusali. Wherever you went to pray. Angatana na mchungaji. You have to abide with your pastor. Sio kwamba mimi najipigia ngoma ndogo ndogo huyu ni roho wa Mungu anakwambia. It doesn't mean that you are doing it because of me but the spirit who tells you. Kuna siri sana. There is a very secret. Kwa connected na mchungaji wako. When you have a spiritual connection with your pastor. Kuna vitu vinaachiwa kutoka mchungaji kuja kwako bila. There are some things that are released from your pastor to you. Mata baraka za kiroho na za kimwili pia. Even the blessings the spiritual and the flesh ones sikiliza matena mata ile 10 mstari wa 40 hadi 42 listen from the matthew chapter 10 verse 42 utakie mema mchungaji wako wish the best to your pastor hapo inasumbuzo utapokea thawabu ya nabii ukifanya kwa nabii that means it is speaking of receiving utapokea thawabu the rewards ya nabii the ya nabii the prophetic rewards utapokea zawadi ya nabii you will receive the prophetic rewards na utapokea malipo hata ya kimwili pia even the, the rewards of the world matokeo ya mimi kuwa hivi the results of me to be kwa sababu nilifanya vizuri kwa mchungaji wangu i did best to my pastor kwa hiyo uwe na kawaida ya kuthamini watumishi wa Mungu therefore you should have the tenets to respect the pastors or the servants of god sasa ukija zoro therefore when you are filled with the spirit utampenda mchungaji you love your pastor utampenda mshirika mwenzio you love your church the, your fellow church member hutamchukia mtu you will not hate anybody kama ulimo jimbo wale walipo jimbo sinai just like today's message that was saying by sinai choir wanasema tupendane eh eh they say you, you say have to love one another let's help one another
message from the Holy Spirit. Tukitaka tumuone roho mtakatifu akifanya mambo makubwa. If you want to reveal the Holy Spirit do the great things. Not to take away the difference. Usimchukie ndugu yako na not to hurt your brother or your neighbor. Usimtakie mabaya. Do not wish him the bad things. Ondoa wivu. Remove the jealousy. Mimi huwa nasema hivi. I never speak like this. Swani 